Getting started, step two. Modify your options and default settings for team environment. The second step is to set up the options to make it more fitting for team environment. Normally, in a team, you won't have everyone checking for application update. You can control that using the data source settings and file options, general application start. Disable the option for enable check for updates. The next option that is useful to enable are the default permission for the user that you will be creating. If you go into security side menu, scroll down to the user template. I have decided that for my organization, the read write offline mode is appropriate. And I will also disable all those options since those are discrete permissions for users and I would rather manage the permission using a role-based security system. Now, if I go into the user interface, tree view, it is best to merge the credentials with the sessions for team environment. Organization that tends to have lots of credentials and lots of folders, having the credentials separate from the session doesn't make a lot of sense for a large organization. So we will enable the merge credential list with session options. We have hundreds of options, but those are some of the basic setup that I would recommend for teams. Let's now take a look at our options and default settings before creating any type of entry. If you go in File, Templates, you can create local template or shared template. Let's create a shared template that will be available to everyone using this data source. Let's create a default settings for the RDP protocol. This screen is just like an RDP session would be displayed, but this would be the base from which all new sessions would be created, which is why it is best to adjust them to your liking before even creating a single entry. I have selected to use the embedded mode as this is one of our preferred display mode. We will also adapt the settings to my liking. I would rather not share my hard drive and would like to send the Windows combination in full screen mode. The beauty of those templates is that you can really adjust them to your liking and set up all your options in accordance with your team philosophy and day-to-day -day operation. Now, if we take a look at the tool side menu, there are in fact macro encrypted tools that are meant to run against themselves. In any entry that points to a host, you have the credentials that the tools would use. By default, it uses your Windows credentials. It is always best to use session credentials in your entries as a default value since in team environment, you would have tons of credentials and it would be more complex. You could create some for credentials, VPN, any sort of entry. If you then want to use your newly created template, go and edit new entry and select add from template and a list of all your created template will appear. If we select the one we just created, you'll see that all of the settings that I previously changed are there. Thank you for watching. You should now be ready for step three, create your folder structure.